Ross and I uh, got married. I was 18, he was 19. And uh, we bought our first house, got married, had our son all within the first year of being married. We were really young when we got married and we didn't really know who we were as individuals. It was a lot. It was very stressful on both of us and we realized quickly that we weren't ready to be married and we had to focus more on our roles as parents before we could as husband and wife. We were just too young. For the longest time I wasn't okay with it. I wasn't willing to go through with the divorce and and I was really trying to fight it. Um, we separated. It wasn't pretty most days. Again, we were right fighters. We both wanted to be right. We both wanted to outdo one another. Um, you know, my parents never divorced. I wasn't raised in that environment. And I just didn't know how to handle it. I never knew divorce, you know. I'd only heard about it from friends at school. It, it, it was hard for a while. We. Um, struggle to be together. Sometimes it was very awkward. When the divorce had started, you know, I remember there was a lot of arguing. It was difficult. We, uh, we had a lot of conflict during our divorce. We did and, um, go see a parenting coordinator who did help us out a lot. But uh, one incident that stands out um, was when Cody was about two years old and he asked me one night when I was putting him to bed, if I loved his dad. And I said, well, of course I love your dad. He gave me you. And about a week later, Ross had said the same thing. He said, Cody asked if I loved you. And um, I asked him what he said, and he said, well, of course I love your mom. She gave me you. And Cody had said the same thing to both of us. That makes me so happy. And we had a moment when we talked about that, and we realized that we needed to stop all the conflict and just focus on being a family for Cody. Well, Ross and I come from very different families. My parents have been divorced almost my whole life, and Ross's parents have been together for over 30 years. But all of our parents made it a big deal to not argue in front of us. Both my parents never argued after they got divorced, and Ross's parents never argued in front of their kids either. And we agreed that we both wanted to be like that for Cody. So anytime we do have an issue, we handle it privately, on the phone, you know, away from Cody. Um, we definitely don't want any of our issues to be in front of Cody or Cody to worry about them. I, you know, it took some time, but I eventually accepted what was going on and, and uh, started focusing on rather myself and the way I felt. Um, I started focusing on what really mattered, and that was Cody. So I know that to be a good mom, I need Ross in my son's life. And I know that Ross, to be a good dad, needs me to help support his relationship with his son. It took some getting used to, it took a lot of time, but I think we're doing okay. When we do our pickups and our drop-offs, Sundays are my favorite days because Ross will drop Cody off and we'll watch the football game together. You know, or I'll go pick up Cody at Ross's parents' house and I'll watch the game with his family. It's a very big deal. It's all just about Cody, so there's really nothing more important than that. And uh, that's, that's what I've been doing my best to focus on through any potential drama along the way. It's like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a greater reason. There's, there's, there's something else involved here and, and way more important. You know, sometimes it's just the three of us and we get to spend a little family time together doing something that we all enjoy. And um, I very much enjoy the time I spend with Ross and Cody. And, you know, it's, you look at the benefits of divorce, you know, you don't get along when you're married. There's no reason you don't have to get along as co-parents. You know, you get divorced to make things better. You don't get divorced and then you, have, you keep having things you know, go wrong and you keep fueling the fire of the drama. You, know, you just gotta let it go and be parents and focus on your child. Just seeing Cody grow older and, and seeing just the little influences that I've had on his life, and it's just amazing and, and uh, it impacts me in a way that 
I can't even describe. When I think about Ross today, I know that he is the biggest influence in Cody's life and Cody needs his dad. And as his mom, I'm supposed to give him everything that he needs. So I support him having a good relationship with Ross. And Ross is a really good father. He loves his son and they're best friends. And to see them together, it, it really is special. They do have a very special bond. It wouldn't even be my weekend, you know, and I'd just stop by, have dinner, you know, hang out, watch a movie. I mean, being able to do that was awesome, but my friends were taken back by it at first. They were kind of like, whoa, what's going on with you two? You know, you're getting back together, this and that. Some people find it strange, you know, they think, well, if you get along so well, why aren't you guys together? And it's like, well, you know, that's the thing. We didn't get along when we were together, but we get along so much better now as co-parents and we enjoy each other more. And, you know, we're actually friends. I need Ross in my life to raise my son and, you know, I don't care what anyone else thinks. Yeah, they're getting used to it now. I mean, they're really happy for us and, and the fact that we've been able to, uh, you know, go through this divorce and, you know, maintain a friendship. You know, they recognize that the typical family, uh, separated family, doesn't work this way. But it, it really is the best. There are other people who admire us, and um, I have some adult friends whose parents are divorced, and their parents still have conflict. And, um, you know, my friend has a child, and, you know, her son's birthday party was very awkward because her parents are divorced and still making it an issue. They've been divorced for over 20 years. And I just can't imagine living life like that. I want my son to be raised right and to not have to go through that in his childhood, you know, and to be a better person than me. It's always for life, you know, with, with children. The best advice we got was to pick our battles um, and also keep our conflict just to each other, not to involve our parents, our friends, and definitely not involve Cody in it. Um, the worst advice we got was from my first lawyer. My, the worst advice I got was from my first lawyer who wanted me to get a restraining order against Ross and um, his family. You know, I immediately thought, well, that's not what I want. I don't want to cut him out of my life. I just don't want the conflict. And um, I think it's very important for people going through divorce conflict to see a parenting coordinator or a mediator and not rely so much on your attorneys, who can sometimes make things worse. The best gift I can give my son now is a good relationship as co-parents. That is by far the best thing. If I could say one thing to parents who are going through a divorce, it would be definitely to remember your children and remember that they're hearing and they're seeing everything and they're absorbing it. It will affect them for the rest of their lives. And they only have one childhood, it's yours to make it a good one.